Hi, folks. Andrew here, Top Fitness Strategies. Today, we're going to talk about a question I get, and it's a question about um, dieting, if you will, loosely based on dieting. And if you didn't know if this is your first time here, thanks for being here. This is Top Fitness Strategies, and we are all about the fitness over 50 crowd. Simple as that. Uh, I show people how to feel better, look better, gain some confidence. All right. So the question of the day, do I have to diet when I start working out? Let's break that down a little bit. Uh, first of all, I'm not a, uh, a nutritionist. I am not a dietitian. Um, I like to use common sense. So all that being said, the word diet, what's the first three letters in diet? D-I-E, die. All right. So keep that in mind. So I, I bring that up because I want you to strike the word diet. Forget forget the diet. Or if you need to use it, use it not in the uh, the fat of the month or the diet of the month thing. Use it more of the what kind of fuel or what, what are you putting into your body. And I like to tell people this all the time. We are adults, especially if you're over 50 years old. Come on now. You should know what is good for your body and what isn't good for your body. Let me give you a couple of examples. Soda, not good for your body. I don't care if it's diet or not, not good for your body. Fast food, not good for your body. But Andrew, I just get a salad of fast food, not good for your body. If you are willing to give those up or at least cut back on those, you're going to be well on your way to a, a healthier and, I guess, fitter body, especially if you're over 50. If you're not willing to do that, you're basically wasting your time. You can work out all you want. But if you're drinking five or six sodas a day, ain't going to help. If you're going to fast food three or four or five times a week, ain't going to help. Okay. So you got to balance the two. So do you need to be on a diet? Not really. The answer is yes and no. You don't need to be on a diet, but you should change your dietary habits, your eating habits. Be more vigilant of what you're putting into your body. If you drink pizza, I drink it. If you drink beer and eat pizza every day, probably not the best thing for you. I'm not saying go cold turkey and and quit putting or quit eating uh, pizza, quit drinking beer. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is be more aware, be more aware of what you're putting in your body, especially if you're wanting to get healthier and fitter. Now, if you don't want to get healthier and fitter, first of all, you probably wouldn't be watching this. Second of all. <laughs> you're, 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 you're gonna, um, uh, first of all, you're going to be conscious of that kind of stuff. So be, be aware of what you're putting in your body, be aware of how that affects you. Now I tell people all the time, drink more water, cut out on sugar, cut out on, on, uh, on salt, or at least cut back on those two, but drink more water. You do those three things. You're going to be surprised what you're going to run into. Or what you're gonna what, what what you will accomplish for yourself, okay? Short and sweet. Just want to get that out there. So once again, Andrew, top fitness strategies. Look at the links below. I've got several things for you. Something that there's going to interest you. I guarantee it. Okay. So until next time, this is Andrew, top fitness strategies. Ciao.